towers collapsed. What do you mean the towers collapsed? Your eyes almost could not believe what they were seeing. I knew that this was a question mark that was going to linger over America. Are we going to be all right? New York, are we going to be all right? Can we recover from this? It was an average New York day, except that it was election day, primary. I walked past a store, everyone, their eyes was glued to the television set, and I looked over their shoulders, and I saw a smoking building. One of the towers was struck. Immediately, I thought terrorism. This could not have been an accident. New York City was under attack. I knew it was time for me to make my way to my command at the time. It was the 88th Precinct in Brooklyn on DeKalb Avenue. As I walked across the bridge, and started to see people, you know, come over that was just terrified. When I went down to Ground Zero that night, watching the ground smoldering, military personnel, police personnel, firefighters, first responders, all covered in soot. And just looking at a sight that I've never witnessed before in my life, of total destruction. It was as though New York had it, the wind knocked out of it. The most remarkable moment for me was September 12th. On September 12th, we got up. It was a symbol of the invincibility and resiliency of New York City and in the country. Fast forward to today, as the mayor of America's city, I have the awesome responsibility of looking at these crises and seeing us through the crises. But as my mother told me as a child, a dark place can be a burial or a planting. And we're not buried, New York. This is just a planting. We're gonna come back bigger, better, and stronger than ever. And I believe that all we have to do is look towards each other and stand up for each other. And we'll get through this just as we did during 9-11. As long as you remain focused and believe, there's always going to be a September 12th when we can get up.